Indiana Jones Adventure Series, Indiana Jones figure from the Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is a Hasbro product, now hitting Target stores, so go check your Target store out if you're looking for one. So this is the windowless, plasticless packaging that we have now. And uh, it looks good, it's spot varnish, little indie right there. You can see him kind of shining in the sun and then the rest of it is like a nice matte finish. Here is the barcode, if this information is beneficial to you. We have the front of the box here that you've seen. Got a nice portrait on the side. And then on the back of the box, we have the little accessories that he comes with. And then it shows his arc, build a arc little components, the winged angels there. You got other figures in the line on the other side and then the build an artifact, Ark of the Covenant all the legally whatnot and such and then nothing really going on on the top there's a if you can slightly tell there's a little bit of a uh, print of some sort on there probably like a map print so yeah let's get him open and see what's inside all right so opening up the figure not a whole lot going on there we've got um the build the artifact little call out there inside and then we have a little bag here with his accessories and then indiana jones here and you can see all those awesome little map print details that are on the bag that looks really cool that's a nice touch all right so the accessories come out and we have lots of good stuff going on here We've got Ark of the Covenant piece, so you get two of these. Really nice sculpting, beautiful gold paint. We have his little Smith & Wesson revolver. It's very tiny. And then we have his coiled up whip. We have the fertility idol. Really good shiny paint on that. We have the uncoiled whip. Then we have three hands, not on the figure. So that's the whip holding hand, fist punch, and then an open hand. I feel like there's supposed to be one more hand. Should have two fists. So maybe one of those is on the figure. Or maybe I'm still missing one. Let's find out. All right, I thought Hasbro had gypped me, but I found it. It was down in the bag. Quick articulation segment. So he can look up nice and high. He can look down really well. Very nice. Nice T-pose, 360 rotation, single jointed elbows, but they do give you a really nice bend there. So that's good. Uh, the hands are essentially just swivels, and the reason why is because they have this little peg system, and it doesn't really work very well because the uh, there's no room for it to move around. Like, it's essentially just a swivel. Don't like that. Prefer the hinge style that has classically come on Hasbro's Marvel Legends and, um, you know, other lines that they've done uh, Black Series and uh, Jajo Classified, pretty much anything else, Power Rangers. Uh, we do get a ball joint at the waist, so good movement there. 360 rotation, of course. Real nice kick. Get you 90 degrees kick there. Thigh cut, single jointed knees, but they do get you a little better than 90 degrees, so that's good. Very nice ankle pivot, really good ankle pivot. Uh, toys, toys, toes can point real far down because of that ankle rocker. And they can go up decently, not just outstanding. So lots of good range out of that. So loving that. Uh, now let's get a close up of the figure. All right, nice. Definitely looks like Harrison Ford. Really good likeness there. The hat is not removable. It is glued to his little head noggin. Uh, it's kind of squishy, so that makes me, even up top, that makes me feel like 
if you heated it up and peeled it off it would just be flat kind of on the top so i probably wouldn't recommend doing that but yeah it's a real good likeness look at all this beautiful weathering on the coat it's fantastic painted details buckles on the strap there of his satchel and then we've got this uh, gold paint for the buttons here really nice detailing here on the uh, belt buckle nice silver reflective paint gold buckle on the belt uh, not much weathering and stuff up here dry brushing but down here at the lower uh, part of the pants leg we do get lots of nice uh, dry brushing there so that comes across really nice and a little bit on his feet not just a ton but definitely some there the back of the jacket of course we get the same treatment got a lot of really nice uh, weathering there and then on the hat itself as well so on the hat you can see around the brim and up the top kind of all over the place yeah I'm loving this photo reel paint on the face got the five o'clock shadow yeah this is a beautiful looking figure outstanding all right and here's Indiana Jones atop a trusty steed you remember in Raiders of the Lost Ark, he grabbed the white horse and took off after the Ark. That looks really good. These are the Lord of the Rings Toy Biz horses. They have several colors and styles. So you can find them on eBay for fairly inexpensive and they go fantastic with a six inch to seven inch scale figure. We will now get some size comparisons of Dr. Jones with some other characters. You can see he is much smaller because of course he's a six inch scale figure than your Diamond Select and McFarlane stuff are gonna be because they're in the seven inch scale. But if you have some Marvel Legends suited figures, they fit in just fine. So any of your Marvel suited figures are going to be just about the same height as this guy. So if you want to get some of the figures that are actually in this line and then fill in your shots with some of these suited Marvel Legends figures, that's going to work out really nice. He also fits well in scale with the Marvel Legends female figures. And last but not least, for some 1930s goodness, we've got Dick Tracy and we have the Rocketeer from Funko. That Dick Tracy's a custom that I made off of Marvel Legends Happy Buck with a Punisher head swap. And then I just got a WWE fedora, painted it, and then painted the jacket that I found on eBay for a little bit of nothing. But yeah, 1930s never looked so good. Final thoughts, awesome figure definitely recommend it i know a lot of people are knocking it but i think it's a great figure lots of cool accessories i guess the only downside for me is going to be the way that they've done the hand setup i don't like that new system they've got the classic uh hinge swivel is definitely superior definitely going to work out better for action figure photography I know not everybody does that, so they're probably just thinking about collectors more than they're thinking about something like that. But yeah, I think it's a miss, misstep for sure. Uh, check out my Instagram, Figure Depot. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. And I will see you guys next time.